हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट लोकेट द सेंट्रोइड एक्स बार एंड वाई बार ऑफ दिस ब्लू शेडेड एरिया एंड दिस कर्व इज डिफाइंड बाय दिस वाई ऑफ एक्स फंक्शन सो नाउ फॉर दिस आई विल वी कैन राइट दैट एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू एक्स टिल्डा टाइम्स ba divided by the integral of ba and similarly y bar is equal to y tilde time da divided by the integral of da so now first of all we will define the our differential area to evaluate these two equations so for that i will define my Uh, differential area let's say somewhere here it's at a distance of x from the uh, origin let's say that it is located at a distance of x somewhere here and its height is its height is defined by that y of x function let's say that this is y and its width is this small width is the small change in x this is dx so i can write that ba is equal to y times dx and the y is given as a function of x so we can write this is 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 square times dx and then we need to integrate this so first of all i need to split this bracket so we are given that this is 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 square so we can we can split this by using a minus b square formula so this will become 4 square plus x to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 so this will become x to the power 1 and minus 2 into 4 into x to the power 1 divided by 2 so this will become 8 to the 8 into x to the power 1 divided by 2 and this will become 16 So now we can write that this is 16 plus x minus 8 to the power x 1 divided by 2, and this is integration with respect to x. And since the x is from x equal to 0 until x equals to 4 feet, so we have to integrate this from 0 to 4 feet. So now if I integrate this, so this will be 6x plus x square divided by 2 minus 8x 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 divided by the same power this is 3 divided by 2 or we can say that this is 2 divided by 3 so so we have the 2 divided by 3 like this so we can say that this is 8 into 2 16 divided by 3 so this will become 16 divided by 3 and the limits are from 0 to 4 feet so now if i apply these limits this is 16 into 4 plus 4 square divided by 2 minus 16 4 to the power 3 divided by 2 minus 3 and minus and if i put this 0 x equals to 0 so everything will become 0 so this thing minus 0 so we are left with only these three terms so now we can calculate it so this is 16 into 4 plus 4 square divided by 2 minus 16 into 4 to the power 3 divided by 2 and this is 3 so this gives me 29.33 So twenty nine point three three feet square. This is the area. This is blue shaded area, which is equal to twenty nine point three three feet square. Similarly, we can find this x tilde time da. So x tilde time da. This is equal to. So now x tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential area from the y axis or from the origin. So this is x tilde. So since this differential strip is located at a distance of x, so this means that x tilde is equal to x. So we can say that this is x and dA is y times dx, or we can say that this is dA. So dA is 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 
x square or we can say that this is this is the area so let me replace this since this 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 square is equal to this so we need to multiply this x with that this is that da if i multiply this with dx so now i can write that this is 16 plus x minus 8 into x to the power 1 divided by 2 times dx and now if i multiply this x inside so this will become 16x let me write it here this will become 16x plus x square minus 8 into x and 1 divided by 2 plus the x to the power 1 so 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 and this is dx and again the integration is from 0 to 4 feet since the integration is with respect to dx so now if i integrate this so this is 16 x to the power 3 divided by 3 this is uh, x to the power 1 so this will become x square divided by 2 this will become x to the power 3 divided by 3 minus x and x to the power 3 divided by 2 plus 1 so 3 divided by 2 plus 1 is 5 divided by 2 and divided by 5 divided by 2 so we can write this 5 divided by 2 as 2 divided by 5 so this will become multiply by 2 so 2 into 8 is 16 so this is 16 divided by 5 and again these limits are from 0 to 4 feet so this 16 divided by 2 is 8 multiplied by 4 square plus 4 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 16 4 to the power 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 and if I put x equals to 0 so everything will become 0 so we will be left with this so this is hmm, 8 into 4 square plus 4 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus 16 into 4 to the power 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 4 to the power 5 divided by 2 let me write it as 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 so this gives me 46.9333 46.9333 so now we can find x bar if i use these values so x tilde times da is equal to 46.933 46.9333 divided by this area which is this uh, the integral of da which is equal to 29.33 so i will divide this answer i will divide that 46.933 by 29.33 so this gives me x bar equals to 1.60 feet so x bar is equal to 1.60 feet now to find y bar we have to find y tilde times da and we know the integral of da so now this is y tilde times da let me write that this is y tilde times da so now what is y tilde y tilde is the location of the centroid from the x axis this is y tilde so now y tilde will be equal to y divided by to the half of the height of this differential strip so this is y tilde times da and we can say that this is y tilde is y divided by 2 and da is y dx so now from this we can say that this will become y square divided by 2 or we can say this is 1 divided by 2 y square dx so now this is y and when it will become y square so this will become uh, 4 right this y square will be equal to 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power 4 or we can say that y square is equal to we can say that y square will be equal to 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 multiply by this is square right so this is 
4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 squared. And uh, we know that this 4 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 squared is equal to this thing. So, we need to multiply this twice with each other, right? So, we can say that y square is equal to 16 plus x minus 8 into x to the power 1 divided by 2 into 16 plus x minus 8 into to the power x x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, now this will become 16 into 16 is 16 square. Now, 16 into x is 16 x and then plus into minus 16 into 8 into x to the power 1 divided by 2. Now, if I multiply this, so this will become plus 16 x and then plus into plus x square and then plus into minus 8 and x into x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, we will add 1 to the power of this. So, that will become uh, x to the power 3 divided by 2 and then we need to multiply this. So, this will become plus into minus 6 into 8 x to the power 1 divided by 2. Similarly, if I multiply this with the second term, so this will be minus 8 and x to the power 1 divided by 2 into x will be x to the power 3 divided by 2. And similarly, if I multiply this, so this will be minus into minus plus 8 into 8 is 64 and x to the power 1 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 2 is x to the power 1. So, now we can simplify this. This is 16 square. 16 square is 256. So, this is 256. Now, the terms with only x to the power 1. So, this then 16x then 64x. So, 16 plus 16 plus 64. 16 plus 16 plus 64. So, 96x now, x to the power 1 divided by 2 and x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, this is, this will be minus 2 times 16 into 8 into x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, let me simplify it. 2 into 16 into 8. So, this gives us minus 256 x to the power 1 divided by 2. Now, the x square term, so this is plus x square and then these two terms, right? So, this is minus 2 times this, right? So, that is 16 x to the power 3 divided by 2. So, this is, this is y square. Now, here we have, uh, let me write it like this. So, this is y square divided by 2. So, now, if I divide this whole equation by 2, So, this will be, uh, we can divide each term by 2. So, 256 divided by 2 is 128 and 96 divided by 2 is 48 x. This is 256 divided by 2, 128 x to the power 1 divided by 2. And this is x square divided by 2 and 16 divided by 2 is 8 x to the power 3 divided by 2. So, now this is that y square divided by 2. So, I can write it here. This is the integral of uh, 128 plus 48 x minus 128 x to the power 1 divided by 2 plus x square divided by 2 minus 8 x to the power 3 divided by 2 and dx. So, now again the integration is from 0 to 4 feet and if we integrate this, so this will become 128 x plus 48 x square divided by 2 minus 128 and x to the power 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So, that will become 3 divided by 2 and divided by 3 divided by 2. So, we can multiply these two in the numerator. So, 128 multiplied by 2 is 256. So, this is 256 divided by 3 plus x to the power 3 divided by 2 into 3. So, this is 6, right? So, this is 6. And this is minus 8 x to the power 3 divided by 2 plus 1. So, this is 5 divided by 2 divided by 5 divided by 2 or we can multiply these two in the numerator. So, this becomes 16 divided by 5. 
So this is 16 divided by 5 and the limits are from 0 to 4 feet. Now I can put this 4 directly in calculator if we apply these limits. So this will be 128 into 4 plus 48 divided by 2 is 24. So 24 and 4 to the power 2 minus 256 and 4 to the power 3 divided by 2. So now this is divided by 3 and plus x to the power 3 is 4 to the power 3 divided by 6 and minus 16 into 4 to the power 5 divided by 2 divided by 5. So this gives me uh, 121.6, 121.6, if we put x equals to 4 in all these terms, so we get 121.6 and if we put 0 in all these terms when x equals to 0, so we will get 121.6 minus 0. So this is the, the integration of y tilde times dA. So this is 121.6 and we can put this in, in this equation, so y bar is equal to the y tilde times dA integral is 121.6 divided by dA. This is that dA which is 29.33. So 121.6 divided by 29.33 gives us the uh, y bar which is equal to 4.15 approximately. So this is 4.15 feet.